True indeed with you, Holy Circle Gaming. Thank you for rocking with your boy. Like always, it's always a pleasure and an honor to do as such. Uh, we're going to get back into it. You see what we're working with. XCOM, Enemy Within, the expansion. You see how we're getting down. Um, I think at last look when we were playing this, yes, there was a crash site. We had sent the plane up. It kind of um, sent the plane up, shot down the small, uh, I think it was a small um, small UFO, if I'm not mistaken. I, I believe it was the first one in this particular set. And so now we're in the process of skinning, sending a Sky Ranger down. And uh, excuse me, and seeing how we're going to go about the um, this particular mission. So, um, as you can well see right now, I have one, two, three snipers and an assault. Oh, I don't think I'm a rock like that for real. So, what we're going to do? We're going to clear one of them out, and we will take we'll take the heavy in there and. We're going to change the loadout here. Close on, let me hit that. Change the loadout here. Clear this unit out, and we'll get the support in play. Then let's do this. Let's change your loadout. Let's give you. The medikit. Oh, what is wrong with my taps today? We'll give you the medikit just in case. So, what do I have? I have Yamamoto on sniper, Row on support, a black dude named Okoro on uh, assault, and I got a heavy, and that's Kennedy. So, I think that's a that's a actually a pretty good look. Um, we'll keep him with the shotgun just for some close damage. Everybody else will kind of shoot from distance. Um, yeah, I like that setup. We'll go with it, I guess. I don't think I need any. I got the sniper for distance. Um, I could run and gun with the heavy, I believe. Um, I could run it down with the heavy, with the assault and support, with the heavy and um, sniper. I could play distance, so we'll go with that. So yeah, so this is what we're gonna go into. I believe this is where we kind of left off, and this is a really short flight. We're gonna touch down, begin this particular assault, and let's see what's going on from there. Um, last time in the last mission, we didn't take any damage whatsoever. It was actually a pretty good run. Uh, we did pick up some meld in which that's being discovered right now to see how we're going to work that out. Um, I've never seen the meld before. This is my first go round with Enemy Within. So we'll see what the meld does. Then we'll kind of see how that plays in effect against the other weapons that we have already which right now I have a bunch of nothing so we're gonna see how that plays out as we go along so uh, mission is up so here we go so let's see what we can do here there go the troops on the touchdown action Little bit of high low action maybe? This is Big Sky. We're just north of the crash site. Strike one is in position to engage. Loud and clear, Big Sky. We'll monitor those readings uh, from here. Strike wow. one is authorized to assault the alien craft. Let's do this. I'm all over it. We're gonna move on there. I'll put you in the corner here. Alien object in sight. Uh, got some meld action. Where is it? Way up high. Mm -hmm. That's affirmative. Well, 
Wow, I really did kind of misposition that, didn't I? I really did misposition that. I was that was not my intent. On the move. Well, hopefully he doesn't get clapped early. I'm gonna have to Overwatch for sure. Wow, that was a misplay if I ever seen one. And Overwatch from here, just in case. I have one player out in the open. Okay. And we'll play the back end. Hopefully nothing jumps out. So I really uh, messed that up, didn't I? On my way. We're gonna move up there. Heading out. Play some D there. Play some defense, protect. Uh, I'm gonna change this camera up so I can see this off to the side. Actually, what I am gonna do. Moving out. I don't think there's anybody over there, so I'm gonna move him in position. Let's put Got it. row right behind. Just in case, Overwatch for sure, just for protection, of course. And okay. Let's get to the wall here, and we'll protect as well, just in case. This is all precautionary. Yeah. First things first, click that meld. Moving out. That's what we're looking for. Is that the second meld? Okay, okay, let's uh, let's play for it, of course. Okay, we're gonna move Marilyn Kennedy up in position, play some D. I think I can Moving reach out. in one if I'm from here. Oh, wow. That plays behind the truck, huh? And that goes to there. I so what we'll do, we'll move up one here. I could still throw a grenade if need be. Uh, and I'm going to switch to pistol and play D. And we'll go from there. I know that they're all going to be kind of hunkered in in the, in, the air, in the UFO craft. And they just gave me intel on that for sure. So, let's do this. Let me change the camera. I'm going to rotate that around. I am going to move row so down copy. here. ET in sight. Engaging. Oh, it's just the one? Right. If there were, that's a being of almost pure energy. Oh. Um, I, I can. Fifty five percent to hit. 
gives me five damage. I could take the shot. Overwatch with this one here. Wow, I wonder where the other aliens are. I uh, know it can't be the only one. Unless they're off, unless they're in this building. I mean, I can always backtrack and play for him, I guess. Moving out. And we'll Overwatch. I mean, I have full protect on, so. Aliens, they're wow. A little bit in shock. Uh, let's see. Can I get to that meld now? Got it. Okay, so that's the uh, that's meld there. I wonder. I wonder if they're in that building. I'm on the move. Let's take a peek. I'm gonna send one. Can I dash you all the way over there? I surely can. Got it. I'm gonna dash you that way. I'm gonna split the troops up. And I normally don't like splitting the troops up when I'm playing this, but in this particular instance I am. Not for anything else, because I really just don't know where the other um I really don't know where the other aliens are. Let's do this. So we'll run them in we're running them in tandem, so and it's kind of an odd tandem, so I'm having like, you know, run one gunner, one distance on each end. They go the other one is they're gonna what be way on the sound? side over here. I have zero problem with that. Put you in aye, here aye. and see if that draws them. No. Nope. On the move. We'll still run them in tandems. We're not gonna. We're not gonna get cute. I was thinking about getting cute a little bit. What I was thinking about doing was actually kind of running the sniper way up high. 
but I'm not going to do that. Not with this particular tandem. Maybe at a later point, I'll try doing things like that, but not when I'm running in um, tandems like that. Ah, I see you. Okay. So they're actually kind of they're trying to move high, right? So what we're gonna do here? Headed there now. We're gonna move that one there. And we'll play Overwatch. Moving to position. Do I get wall protection there? Uh, let me rotate you around. Enemies there we up. are. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, you should clap him. He's Good down. clap. Good clap. Whoa. I gotta get I gotta get better position, yes. Well if he moves I got him, so I can't grenade from there, can I? It's too high to grenade. I think I got a pistol. Aw, oh, you're just gonna just straight miss, right? Enemy is still alive. Just straight miss. Got them spread out, so there's three. There's three. It's raining death over here. Oh, good miss, good miss. No. Yes. You absolutely should get a reaction shot. That's a good two, but he should have took four. That's a good hit. Jeez. Okay. First of all, can I hit you from distance is the real question. Uh, maybe. I'm going to hold that thought there. I can... I can run and gun there. I kind of have this dude pop if need be. And I could rocket launch. A rocket launch system that would be kind of mean though, wouldn't it? Is 
the shot completely black? Oh, I can't even get it off. Dog, I can't even get it off. So... I gotta take the shot. So that's first things first. That's a nice clap there. We're going to take this shot here in position. X-ray down. Two really good plays right there, by the way. By the way, that was two good plays. So... I'm gonna run. Can I run over here? That's affirmative. I'm gonna run over here so I can overwatch him just in case. And okay. Let's go here. Don't really have a good play on him. I got a pistol. That's what you wanted to do. Say hello to my little Yeah, we're gonna try this out. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get the rocket. We gotta get the rocket. I didn't even want to do Mission it to you. Only because you shot a couple of my peoples down, I had to give you the rocket. I know that was mean, ladies and gents. I know it was mean. But he had to get the rocket. Only because he, picked, he almost picked off a couple of my people. And don't get it wrong, it was actually a pretty decent run of play on their part. But I don't like taking hits like that, thought, thinking that I was in good position. You know, it was actually in this particular instance, normally I run my teams in one big unit. But in this particular instance, it actually worked out to be pretty good where I actually ran my teams in more of a two-man tandem. Um, I only have one person who was hurt, which was Marilyn, my U.S. affiliate, you know, who was hurt for six days. And I didn't get no additional... Um, no additional upgrades or points that kind of stunk but 
you know, running them in two different tandems actually kind of helped because actually I had flanking on both ends. Um, having that sniper in play really paid dividends in this particular instance because that sniper did really, really well. Um, I got some additional meld here, as you can see. I got a sec some sectoid courses, some Illyrium, which comes into play later, I would imagine. Um, I feel a few different things I could sell, you know, the flight computer, the UFO power source. That's all fine and dandy too. So, um, definitely not too bad. Not too bad. What I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go into this gray market Several real fast. Members of the council have expressed an interest in acquiring some of the artifacts we've recovered. Let me However, go ahead and sell those off we release. The research team may not because have they don't have no benefits, so at least it's free money. We'll sell the free money off at 370 there, not too bad. Uh, let me look at my barracks and see what's going on. I have 15, only my heavies down. Another sniper that'll help. Uh, let me do this. Let's go ahead and go to Mr. Control because I know that meld is due. What's up with the whole thematic it's music? Remarkable. Mm -hmm. So meld recombination research complete. Let's go ahead and research something else, obviously. Cybergenetics lab. Genetics lab. A mech warrior in way from manufacturer. Hyperreactive people's rated from gene lab. Depth perception in the gene lab, adaptive bone marrow in the gene lab, additional 440 additional meld reconstituted. Okay. Let's see. Okay, a cybergenetics lab. So here we can be able to get um, exoskeletons, augment soldiers to wear them. This is kind of a workshop, okay. to genetically modify the soldiers uh, okay stacks with rapid recovery soldier retain a super turn up to the max without armor that's kind of fresh um, height height advantage confers an additional Aim and sight, um, critical chance, okay. Confers 10% aim on any shot after a miss. Uh, flamethrower, whoa. Let's get the I weapon expected fragments. That would be a priority research task get the weapons fragments and I'll begin and allocating motion. resources to the project immediately. Wow. Okay, let's let's see what's going on down but here. We want to expand our facilities. We're going to have to start excavating beneath the base. Unfortunately, the deeper we go, let's get the that moving there. Off. And that's gonna be for power. I'm pretty sure we're going to need that power sometime in the near. Mmm, genetics lab? Okay. Yeah, that genetics lab is going up pretty fast. 
pretty fast. Yeah, we're going to get that genetic slap up pretty fast. Get some meld action going. Um, let's spend another. Let's spend another couple of days. I got four, three, two, one. Weapon fragments is good. So that should at least give me the scope. That'll help for my snipers. Dog, I need those beam weapons for real. We'll spin this one as well. So we went with alien materials in this instance. Normally I wouldn't have, but I on uh, an abduction site. We're what do we have going on here? France, have Australia, Egypt, and I need a heavy too. Jeez, Louise. But those scientists may come into play too. So, um. Let's go back for a second. Take a peek at the situation Satellite room. Facilities at maximum capacity. If I lose France one, they'll move them up to one. I need another heavy, that's for sure. But that'll put France in a little bit of trouble. Actually put that whole section in a little bit of trouble. Well, this is what we'll do. We'll make that decision on the next go round. We will see. I will kind of take some suggestions and see um, how we're going to go about doing that because I'm not 100% sure. Um, um, easily, easily in the alien abductions, I could easily take the extra four scientists and make my research go so much faster because there's a bunch of things I really do need. Um, but I do need a heavy. Um, especially with sergeant experience heavy that would actually come in real official because right now the way the team is looking at the moment um, I don't have anybody um, everybody squatties right now so I don't really have a I don't really have anybody who is beyond that just yet maybe they'll move up after this particular ranking um, but I don't have anybody who is a sergeant yet, but I really do need a sergeant um, Simply because it gives me two things one it actually moves up my I can move up my squad here and add one and give me a team of five um, So that would definitely help for sure secondly um, Just to have somebody with some extra firepower that would be good too. So at least that's what my thoughts are I'm not a hundred percent sure um, y'all can always let me know in the comment section what y'all thinking and how y'all feel I should go about doing it. Um, but that's kind of where we are right now. Um, you see we got the meld done. We got the alien materials in motion. Uh, after that, I believe in the facilities, we're going to actually work and get the genetic slab up. The cyber genetic, cyber genetic slab and the power generator. Those are the three things we're getting up for sure. Um, then from there that um, alien containment laboratory would come in thereafter that's kind of the big picture plan so far it may change a little bit as we go along but that's kind of where we are right now ladies and gents so I definitely appreciate you rocking with me like always this is true indeed God above everything hope y'all have a wonderful day and I'll definitely talk with y'all soon alright